Martinez with Hollywood First Look, and today I'm chatting with Tony Hale, who voices Poopel in Poopel of Chimney Town. Let's take a first look. In Chimney Town, where everyone has forgotten to look up, this is the story of young Lubici, who yearns to see the stars his father told him about, and Poopel, a man made of garbage who appears one fateful night. Together, they look to the sky as their adventure begins. What do you think you'll find beyond the smoke? And seek to uncover the truth. Let's go, Poopel. Yes. This is such a hopeful film, and I feel like it's the perfect way to wrap up the year. Um, but of course, we need to talk about Poopel himself. Poopel Halloween. Um, you know, he is an amalgamation of all different parts of life. He physically looks mm -hmm. like it, and then when he makes the little outfit, he looks like it as well. So for you, what is something about this year that you learned that you are hoping to take into the next? Ooh, um, that's a great question. I agree with you. This movie really is a kind of looking past the smoke. Talk, this story talks a lot about how this town is full of smoke and this kid's father told him there's stars above there. And he's like, wait, I nobody believes him except this one kid. He's like, I gotta get to the stars. And I feel like you're right this whole year. We're like, we gotta get past this smoke. But in the midst of it, I think hoping that the new year has a, a release from all of this chaos that we've been in, I think it's kind of to take with us, I think we'll all take with us these kind of simple moments we've had during it. Um, I think we, before COVID happened, I'm, I'm guilty of it too, just there was a lot of, you can get caught up in the noise of a lot of stuff. And we've all been kind of forced to slow down. So hopefully we can carry that into the new year. So now like from Forky to Papel, um, what are some things that you just love to do about voice acting? I mean, obviously, you know, there's the whole thing of like not being able to, you know, like look a certain way, like you can wear pajamas. Yeah. What are some other uh -huh. things? Um, it's funny you mentioned Forky because he loved trash and Papel is made up of trash. So there's a trash thing. I don't know what that says about my, my inner self, but <laughs> um, I, um, I, what do I love about it? I just love the fact that it's, there's no, um, it can go places that live action can't go. I mean, live action could go, but it's like crazy stuff. You know, you are allowed to go past, the imagination is so free in the animation space. Um, and when you're voice acting, you kind of do the same performance as you would in front of the camera because you want the same energy to go through the mic. But there's a little bit of like, you know, as a kid when you're just kind of in make-believe land in your room you know and then you're kind of in this voiceover booth and you just kind of enter into the make-believe and it's really really a nice release for you i mean thinking back to the first time that you voiced a character an animated character what was it like to hear your voice mm. on an animated character for the first time i think just hearing my voice in general was tricky <laughs> um I've, I've never been a huge when i was growing up and even you know even i would say later in life i always had an insecurity about my voice when i would hear it and i just be like oh gosh I'm like everybody's like is that how i sound is that how i sound and then the more i did it i became a little more comfortable with it but it's still not like i would much rather <laughs> i would much rather listen to like you know dustin hoffman's or someone else's voice because I, I think when we hear our own it's like i thought i sounded so different you know and then you hear but then i got used to it and i, I enjoy the animation stuff because it's not actually when I hear myself on talk shows, that's my natural voice. So I'm like, Ugh! but it's still a work in progress. But with animation, you it's a total change. So I can I can handle it a little better sometimes. Now, I have to give you a shout out. You've had a phenomenal year. My goodness. Congratulations. Thank you. I think it's like insane for you looking back on this year. What's something that you've learned as an actor? Uh, as an actor? Um, like for instance, one of the really rewarding things I did in addition to um, uh, other stuff, but being the Ricardos was the one that just came out with uh, the Lucio Ball um, movie with Nicole Kidman. And, you know, being in that world, that was such an iconic show. And as an actor, especially for Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem placing it, stepping into such iconic roles, you really just kind of have to, those risks of like, you know, I'm just going to do my best and try not to make it so large in my head, take it day to day, because I grew up on I Love Lucy and you don't want to screw it up. But you just kind of have to say, you know what, I'm going to just kind of do my best and not put that pressure on yourself. Because it's, I mean, I don't know if you're, if you've 
ever performed, but it's very, you have that inner critic always, always going on. And you have to allow yourself, you have to listen to it and be like, I hear you, but not give in to it. And that's always a challenge. Pupello Chimney Town is now available in theaters. My name is Amy Cassandra Martinez, and I'll see you guys next time. In Chimney Town, where everyone has forgotten to look up, this is the story of young Lubici, who yearns to see the stars his father told him about, and Pupel, a man made of garbage who appears one fateful night. Together, they look to the sky as their adventure begins. What do you think you'll find beyond the smoke? And seek to uncover the truth. Let's go, Poopel. Yes. Poopel of Chimney Town. <laughs>